Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh my lord, I can't do intros anymore. This is like my fifth time trying to do an intro for this video. I'm just like, I'm, I can't. I cannot. I can't not be cheesy. I have to be cheesy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Taya. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial on this look, obviously. Just loose curls um, before I go to work tonight. And I'm so excited because this video went so well and I had so much fun filming it. And I'm just so excited for you guys to watch. Please make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below. Give me some YouTube video ideas, people. I need some ideas. I want to see what you guys want to see. I want to do what you guys want to see. I want to give you what you want to see. So please let me know in the comments below. I freaking love this video. It came out so well. I'm so happy because I filmed the same video last week or the week before that I don't remember it just wasn't good like I didn't I didn't love it but like I love this one I'm like such in a good place right now I'm so like hey! like so high strung on coffee right now that I'm just like let's go let's go let's go but anyways thank you guys so much for getting on this video I hope you enjoy I will not disappoint you in this one lord honey lord but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy let's go <laughs> going to be using this I think it's a bed head my sister got this for me at Target I think um the bed head TG T-I-G-I Tija I don't know how to pronounce that we're just gonna go with it um yeah so it's like a I want to say it's a one inch curler wand so what I like to do is actually just brush out everything I didn't wash my hair yesterday so it might be a little greasy but we're not gonna worry about it until a little bit later. I have work tonight, so I'm going to put it up, whether it be in like a little clip, like a low clip, like down here, and like twirl it, and I'll probably show you guys what I do. I'm just kind of like, you know, whatever. Or I might wear it in a ponytail. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'm so freaking pale. I haven't tanned in like two weeks probably, and I haven't fake tanned in like three weeks. So I'm very white right now. I try to match my foundation as best as I could. I don't know how it looks on camera, but we're gonna do it. I'm sorry if my bra straps pop out because I'm wearing this loose shirt. I'm trying to look cute for you guys on this video. But yeah, so I like to do while my curling iron is heating up is just section off my hair. Um, I like to start at the top of my ears and just bring it back on both sides. And then once I have like, kind of like half up, half down, I guess, I like to just pull that, separate it, and trail it. I have a little butterfly clip. And I like to just pin it like that. So we look really cute. Totally, right? Oh my god. So then after that, I like to portion, portion, oh my lord, have mercy. Portion. Why did I say portion? That's not even a word. Portion. Anyways, um, portion, half and half on one side and then the other half on the other side. I'm so sorry that my hair doesn't reach in the full frame because it's just so long. <laughs> It's just so long so I'm gonna try to like back up for you guys and you guys can see what's going on so in your curling iron I it depends how much hair you have okay it depends how much hair and how thick your hair is because for me I have super thin hair but I have a lot of it like as you can see it's super 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 long um, but it's really thin so it honestly depends I'm gonna show you what I do but I would not say to do this same thing because I don't know how your hair is I don't know how thick it is how thin it is how short, long, whatever it is. So what I'm going to do is there's not much hair here. Like I don't really have a lot here. So what I'm going to do is just split this into two. So like I said, I did half and half and then I'm going to work on this side first. This is my right side. I'm going to split this into two parts. So I have a top part and the bottom part. And what I like to do, I like to always curl away from your face because it gives that I don't know, this looks cute to me. I don't know. Um, so I'm always curling from my face. So I'm going to take a curling one. I like to hold it like this downwards. And like I said, I'm curling it. Like, look at it. I'm curling it away from my face. So we're just going to wrap that around. I'm going to go for a loose waist tonight. Not so much super... I'm going to put it up so it doesn't really matter how much I curl and how long I curl it for. Like, usually if I'm going to wear it down, I would curl it from the roots. See how, like, I have this big space right here? I'm gonna put it up, that's why I'm not gonna do the whole thing. So I'm just gonna curl like this and not leave it on for too long. 
And another tip, if you guys want these really, really curly, I would leave it on for a little bit longer. And also, get little clips and literally clip it like this and let it sit while it cools off. That definitely helps. But we're not, I'm not going to do that today, so sorry. People are texting me and I'm like trying to read. So same thing for the next one. I'm not going to curl right by the root. I'm going to leave a little space right here. And I'm not going to leave it on for too, too long. We're just going to do that for this side and again the next side. And again, we're going to be twirling the opposite side since we're going to be on the opposite side of the face. Curling away from the face. You don't have to do this, but this is what I'll do. curling the bottom half sections I only had four of course what I like to do is let them all cool like these ones are still kind of warm definitely these ones and I just finished with these ones definitely let them cool I like to just comb through them with my fingers I find that if I curl or if I brush through them with my brush which has a lot of hair in it I'm so sorry see all the hair <laughs> I'm done um I find that if I use a brush, it makes it more staticky. I don't know if it's because I have carpet floors and like, I, I have no idea. I don't know the whole science behind that. I have no idea. But I just like the look if I cur like brush through them with my fingers. They look a little bit more natural and a lot less fuzzy and fluffy because if I were to take my brush, it'd just get fuzzy and fluffy and staticky. So now we're going to work on the top half. The top half is going to take a little bit longer because there's going to be obviously a little bit more hair and a little bit more dimension. Um, what I like to do is part where your part is. Right now my hair is a little bit greasy, so I'm sorry if it looks really bad. Uh. Um, so yeah, just part where your part is. Right here is where my part is. So I like to start working on the lesser section. See how there's more hair on this side than this side since it's parted on this side? Does that make any sense? I'm not a hair stylist. Um, so what I like to do, the side I'm not going to work on, I like to just put up in some weird thing. Oh god, that hurts. Hang on. Like that. Oh. Like that. <laughs> and yeah, so right here, we literally have a, such a small section that I'm just going to split in two again. Same exact thing that we've been doing, curling away from the face. I like to point my wand down and wrap around. Um, and like I said, I'm putting my hair up for tonight because I have work. So if it were to be down, I'd probably be curling a lot longer and a lot more closer to my head, a lot more closer to the root. Um, but I'm not going to do that tonight because I'm working and we're just going to put it up anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Don't you hate how like when your hair is greasy, it looks so much darker on top. Like my hair is so dark right now because it's so greasy. I mean, it is kind of dark because I have highlights in, but it like looks so dark because it's greasy. And again, we're not holding it for too long. Oh, honey, look at them curls. All right, so now that we're done with that side, we're going to work on the bigger section. I'll probably just put these up into three, probably. So what I like to do, I like to pull everything that's curled, which is the bottom half and the right half. These part, these ones I can finally brush out because they kind of cooled off. Honey, that looks so good. What I like to do is just kind of like pin it back so I can breathe because it's really hot right now. I have my lights on. The curling iron is like 400 degrees probably. Not really. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so we're just going to portion these off into three. And again, your portions might be different because your hair, like everyone's hair is different thickness, different length, different everything. And of course, the thicker piece that you have, the longer you want to hold it for. Um, because obviously the thicker it is, the more hair you have. And the more hair you have, the longer it's going to take for the heat for the heat to get through to it. I'm literally so hyper right now. So this part is like probably the trickiest part to make look good. This is the front part. Like this is my bangs, right? Not my bangs. I don't really have bangs, but you know what I mean? Like this is the front part of my face. Um, I don't like to get too far up to the root, of course. Like I've been doing the whole entire time. I haven't really been getting that close to the root. Um, this part, I don't know. This part's just weird. You just gotta be careful with it. And you can always go in and recurl or straighten a part that you didn't like that was curled or, you know. But yeah. See, if it were to be curled up here, it might add a little bit more texture. If you're gonna pull it back, it might not look as good. But obviously, whatever, you know, makes your boat float. 
whatever floats your boat, whatever it is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sweating. Once these strands have cooled off, you just brush through with your fingers, of course. All right, so once I curled everything, you can brush it out. Do your thing. I might have to add, ah, my hair's fine. I was gonna have probably add some dry shampoo before work, but I think it's, it's whatever, I don't really care. It's a Monday, people, like, calm down. Calm down, understand. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, I just love it. I, I love my hair curled. Blonde hair, when it's curled, is a, um, oh, makes me so excited. I love it. I love it. Because I feel like I always wear my hair straight, that it's just like, it's boring after a while, but when I curl it, honey. But yeah, I'm going to stand up for you guys since you guys can actually see the whole thing. Oh my god, I love it. See, even if I were to wear this without it being up, like, I think it looks so good, just how it is right now. So if I were to wear my hair down, I would curl more up here to the root, especially in the front area, like right here and more on the sides, like curl this part so it has a little bit more texture and a little bit more like volume and along on this side. If I were to wear my hair down tonight, I would obviously curl it a little bit more straighter up to the, to the root, just to give it more of like a bombshell, like thing. Cause right now it's obviously, it's, gonna, it's flat because I don't have any curls up here. So, you know what I mean? But if I were to wear it down, I would obviously, and another crazy thing I don't do is hairspray. I don't have any hairspray, no hairspray. I don't use hairspray. My hair is so thin that it holds a curl so well that it just stays for the next couple of days. I mean, it won't look this good, obviously, because I sleep on it and whatever. But yeah, this is it. I'm going to try to turn around for you guys so you can see what the back looks like. Oh, can you see it? It looks so good. Like, blonde curly hair gets me, people. It just, just gets me. But yeah, this is it. Let me turn off my hot iron before I freaking burn my... But yeah, this is the finished product. I love this. I love curling my hair. I just love the body it gives. Um, obviously, you can use different products for like hairspray, um, texture, volumizing spray. Like you get, there's, honey, there's so many products out there for you to use. I just feel like a whole new person with curly hair because my hair is naturally pin straight. My hair is naturally pin straight out of the shower, whether I dry it with a hair dryer or not. Pin straight, no matter what. So obviously having something crazy and curly like this is the total opposite, which I live for. Yeah, this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, thank you so much. I absolutely freaking love you. If you're still here watching, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like. Comment down below, see what videos you guys wanna see from me. And yeah, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos, because I love filming. YouTube videos. I freaking love it. Whether I have zero subscribers or a hundred, like I, I don't care. I just love sitting down and talking and doing stuff. It's so fun. I love it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one.